previously. Hey everybody and welcome back to Terraria. And when we last left off, we did some improvements. Primarily to down here at the bottom of our base to add the extra armors. And then we moved on over to our Fortress of the Damned and added a little bit of space on the, not the bottom floor, but the one above it to make room for the masks from the bosses. Now, when I finished doing all of that, I said I was going to do a bit of grinding for lenses and rotten chunks because we were low, well, not just low, we ran out. So if we head down to our main enemy drop chest here, you'll see I have 99 lenses and also 99 rotten chunks. That's a nice little boost there. But not only that, if we head down to this chest here, my excess chest, we have two more stacks of rotten chunks and another stack of 99 lenses, which is, you know, that's, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. But not only that, if we head down to this chest, you'll see I have like nearly six more stacks of 99 len lenses and three more stacks of 99 rotten chunks, a few short on the end stacks there. So this should see us fine for a while. Now you might also notice down at the bottom, I have a full ancient shadow set. Yeah, these drop from the same enemies that drop rotten chunks, but these are much, much rarer. So I got a full set there as well as uh, a few over in my underwater base I'm not going to go to because, well, you know what it looks like, they're here. So I need to put that away at some point, but for now, look, we've got all these lenses, that's enough for some Eyes of Cthulhu, and these are enough for some Eater of Worlds summoning summonables. So if I take away 12 of these, that'd be, no, that's wrong. 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, yeah that is right. Okay, good. 75 of those, and let's also take, oh yeah, why not, 99 of these. And that should be good, and then we want some, oh, we do need to go over to the <laughs> underwater base, because now we need vial powder. And we will need, I don't know how many. <laughs> I'm assuming a lot. Right up here. Here is it? There we go. Uh, let's just let's just take a couple of bags with us. I'm not sure how much we need, but that'll do. Right, if we quickly go over here, I'll sh since I'm here, I might as well show off that ancient shadow armor. If I kept it all, I might have sold it. Oh, there's the helmet. Did I keep the rest of it? I can't remember. It's not there. Oh, there's a, a couple more helmets and the legs. Yes, I remember I only did get one chest piece. Right, so with all of this stuff, I think that's everything we need. If we now make our way over to the demon altar, that's quite close to our base. I'm, I've said this before, but I'm so surprised at how close this is and that, that I'd never noticed it, especially with my elevator right here. Look, look at this thing. Right, and so we want to craft it up. Yeah, it's 15 and 30 apiece. I think we can get four of these. Hang on. Now, we can get four of these. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Okay. I'm bad at maths. And this is 46 vial powder. We have 99 lenses also, so they can be used to craft up these suspicious looking eyes. And let's just make as many as we can. 16 seems good to me. So now we just... In fact, you know what? While we're here... Let's whoop. let's have a little look, see at what we've got down in. <gasps> I saw you, I saw you, I saw you. Please still be there. Ah, no, 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 no. Well, that was simultaneously cool and crap. Um, I saw a mouse in here, so I was hoping to catch the mouse. And then I stepped on a trap, which would have killed me. Uh, but I avoided it. But then the 
trap itself, the giant boulder, landed on the mouse, killing the mouse, which sucked. But it also landed on the giant digger enemy, killing the digger enemy. Whatever it's called, well feeder. That was pretty cool, I guess. Right, I've been in this world long enough grinding, yeah, so there's definitely going to be a bulb in here. What did I just get hurt on? Right, everybody, get out. Get out, get out, get out. So, yeah, I guess as per usual, we're going to open... Oh, there's life fruit there, too. We're going to open with a bit of a planterophyte. Because we need to. We need that drop. Alright. In fact, let's move that from there. Alright, come on, plantera. Do this for me. Please give me that axe. And then I never have to worry about you ever again. Because you have nothing that I need. I have your mask. I have your trophy. I have all of your drops. But the axe... Well, no, we didn't get it. We've got the wasp gun and a temple key. Of course. Fine and dandy. So let's go home. And... It's halfway through the night. Should we fight these? I can try. Someone left in the comments... Um, I wrote this down on my list, actually. That it is possible to summon the Eye of Cthulhu multiple times at once. So if so, I'm going to summon like 16 and kill 16 of them at once. If you can't do that, then that comment is wrong. So we'll see. Let's, uh, yeah, sure, let's get into suspicious looking eye territory. In fact, I'll save my game first, just in case it wastes them. You never know. I don't want to waste all these because the lenses are hard to get. Even if I do have lots of them. So let's see. Nope, you can only summon one at a time. Uh, whoever commented that, you're wrong. And at least you've learned. So now, anyone who says that to me, Oh, I nearly saw the wrong thing then. Well, no. Not to give me duff suggestions.
And there we go. Now let's check our inventory. What do we see? Uh, not anything that I give a crap about. I do not see the binoculars, but you know, it was to be expected. We don't ever get what we want. Let's dump these down here. Hey! Right, night time is nearly over, and what it is, I'm gonna go see Walter and sell some stuff. Stuff. Now we still have the worm foods left so we can go fight those, but I'm not going to again I'm, I'm just going to sort of space things out so it's going to be Not all battling all the time, not all building all the time. It just needs to have a bit of a mix-up Everything needs to be a little bit different every so often. Have I put everything away? That could be put away uh, Lenses I guess Did I keep these lenses from when I was making them? I guess I did Bonk. That is annoying <laughs> Walter, my good dear friend Walter, take the wasp gun, uh, stick it up your butt, uh, and that is all I'm going to give you, my friend. Goodbye. Good day to you, sir. Right, let's quickly scoop our way along here. Put this in here. And as per usual, we've got crap to put away. But it's not going to take too long, I don't think. Trophy goes in here like that. Go this way, we've got a lot of pets. Pets go in the food storage chest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then a squigillion demonite ore to put into our underwater base. Now, as soon as this chest up here is full of demonite ore, that's it, I don't care about putting it away anymore. No it's just done with, as far as I'm concerned. Which means I can have a... 1,300-ish, roughly. And I'm good. Oh, we've got life fruit. Are we full on life fruits? We are, aren't we? And I forgot to put those away too. Okay, I'll just put those away at another time. Right, things to do on my list very quickly. I do have a fair amount. Now, one of the things I have here is a list of crap to talk about. And one of the things I wanted to talk about was suggestions from users. Not regarding stuff to do, but regarding like information I should take on board. And... I just want to throw this out because this is stuff that gets suggested a lot and it's wrong, so I just want to correct you. First up, we had the fact that um, I can summon multiple Eyes of Cthulhu at the same time. I can't. We tried that. I can only summon one at a time. It just simply does not let me. So yeah, uh, suggesting fighting multiple bosses at once does not work. I mean, different bosses, yes. The same boss, no. So I can't speed up my grinding of enemies. Second thing that is suggested so often, and I've replied to it in the comments maybe a dozen times. So I'm going to quickly go here and I'm going to show you what I mean. And hopefully get rid of this rumour once and for all. And it concerns my Plantera farm down here. So if we land anytime, there we go. Now a lot of comments are telling me, get away are telling me that I need to destroy these plants here to give give the bulb room to spawn. You don't. If I have never once destroyed a single plant here and somehow the bulb still manages to grow, doesn't it? Because it doesn't matter. This stuff doesn't matter. The plantera bulb, when it chooses to spawn, it will break any of these plants that are surrounding it to give itself room. It doesn't need that. So if you're wondering, you know, well, why isn't this teeming with loads of bulbs, if that's true. And that's because the plantera bulb itself has a spawning condition. Uh, first of all, it needs space to grow, i.e. jungle grass in a 2x2, two two, I guess, space. These plants, again, doesn't impede it at all. But the other condition it needs is that there can't be another bulb within, I think it's either 100 or 300 blocks. And this is about 100 blocks longish, I think. So, if one grows on here, you won't see another one here at all until it's destroyed and it gives room for more to grow. So, basically, yeah, stop telling me to destroy these plants because it doesn't make a damn bit of difference. Get away, yo! Right, that is that done. Other things to talk about. That's done, that's done. Ah, yes! Uh, is there anything I can do while I'm talking about this? Let's have a quick look at my list. 